by now you're probably wondering why is this stupid idiot you know always in his car you know making videos you're probably wondering does he have a place to live does he did he get kicked out does the, did the house burn down did something happen and he's living in his car no <laughs> That's not the case if you're wondering any of those things. Uh, it just so ho the, the, just so happens that uh, uh, when the, the the feeling strikes to make a video, I'm usually in the car. <laughs> yeah, the house is fine, everything and all that stuff. Well, kind of. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, the Vojek experience starts right now. <laughs> Vojek experience where idiots are still always us always me I mean come on I'm an idiot sitting in my car making a video <laughs> anyway um the reason why I'm in my car today doing a video is because I have to go to work <laughs> and uh, and also uh, because uh, there's really no other place really to do this video right now because uh, for the past at least 12 hours we have been without electricity at our house uh, ever since last night around like seven o'clock last night the power went out because of uh, high winds and this winter storm that we got yesterday uh, which is weird because the day before it was like 50 some degrees i was out and about didn't have my coat on it was warm it we were actually sweating in the house and everything and then like at a drop of a dime like it started snowing then the wind started coming and then by seven o'clock last night the high winds knocked out a bunch of power lines everywhere uh so uh a lot of places in, uh, in Crescent where we live uh, is without power. Some areas of Crescent does have power, but a lot of it doesn't have power. Um, from what I've seen, there's a lot of places, a lot of towns, you know, all around that have no power. And when you go to the power company's website to see, you know, the outage map and the estimates of when the power is gonna be back on, there is no estimates it just has a statement on there saying that because of the winter storm there's no telling when power is going to be restored which really sucks because with it being cold like it is and the wind blowing we have no heat now at our house so it is pretty cold in there right now um and uh not to mention you know uh, the the refrigerator and freezer has been without power for 12 hours and of course we have not been opening that or anything but I'm just afraid that you know if this continues that we may lose some of our food I'm hoping not but you know but we'll you, you never know how things are gonna go but um, but yeah another thing too is uh, we weren't really prepared so we didn't have our phones and our devices and stuff charged to full capacity so when this hit it was like oh great what are we gonna do you know because we knew eventually you know our phones were gonna die and during the course of overnight uh sarah's phone died um and my phone was this close to dying 
when I got up this morning. It was at like 6%. Luckily, um, because I did have to be at work this morning, I got up out of bed and uh, braved the elements <laughs> to go out. I started the car to get that, number one, heated up. And number two, I plugged in my phone and Sarah's phone and just left it idle for about an hour and a half or so. And of course, I had to clear out a bunch of branches from the driveway, from trees from all around, you know, where we live, just branches just breaking off and flying into our driveway and onto the road. So I had to move some of that stuff too, just so I can back out, just so I can, you know, get to work and all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nasty out there. Even driving to work here, it all I saw was nothing but down trees and branches and stuff. So. I have no idea when our power is going to be restored. I am hoping that we have power at work so that I can charge all of my stuff, including my external battery, so that, you know, when I go back home, because I'm only working a short shift today, I'm only working four hours, so I'm hoping I can get some stuff charged up. That way, once I get home, if power is still not out and it is still out for a few more hours, we can get our stuff charged in case there's an emergency. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, speaking of work, I actually do have to go in and get ready to actually start work because I left the house a little bit early just so that I could, you know, get here because I had no idea how the, the roads were going to be, you know, with all the downed trees and branches and all that stuff. No idea how it was going to be. So I wanted to leave early just in case. Uh, but... Um, but yeah, here's to hoping there's power at work so I can charge my stuff. And, uh, but I'll keep you updated on what's going on. And like I said, I know that you're probably not going to be seeing this video until probably days after the fact. But, but you know, it's still part of what's going on. But, uh, but anyways, I, uh... I will talk to you guys later. I got to get into work. So as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And of course, if you want to support this stupid channel here, uh, hit that join button. Become a member of the Idiot Squad. would love to have you aboard. And of course, you can follow me on all the major social medias. All those links are down below. Uh, check out the merch store. That link is down below. My audio podcast, the link for that is also down below. And you can find it on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Audible. So check that out if you haven't done that yet. And, uh, and I hope that uh, you guys are all safe and sound. I hope everybody out there has got power. And uh, to always be prepared in case something like this happens. You know, have an external battery and have it charged up. Unlike me, I wasn't prepared. I'm an idiot. I'll admit that. I'm an idiot. But anyway, time to go to work and hopefully charge my stuff. So I will see you all later. Have a good day and bye for now.